Good morning. I'm Catherine Cook, and I am so honoured to be reading this citation today. The highest distinction, sorry, this becomes a part of you after a while. The highest distinction the Senate of a university can confer upon an individual is an honorary doctorate. At the University of Manitoba, the criteria include distinguished achievement in scholarship, the arts, or public service. Our honorary graduate this morning is Lavinia Brown. <laughs> Lavinia Brown exudes determination. She's a leader, a trailblazer, an educator. She's a role model and an advisor. When she sees a problem, she puts her hand up to help. Ms. Brown was born in Dawson Inlet, Nunavut, in 1947. There were no nurses, doctors, or government services in the area at that time, so she was delivered by her father. Today, the Inuit elder is a change maker in her community and a champion of education. Throughout her career, Ms. Brown has devoted her life to the development and promotion of community capacity building, especially regarding health and social services. She was the first teacher's aide in Rankin Inlet, later establishing the Eastern Arctic uh, Teachers Education Program in Iqaluit, and becoming the first chairperson of the Kuwaitan Regional Education Authority. Holding many roles in local politics, Ms. Brown was the first woman mayor of Rankin Inlet. Establishing working relationships between government agencies and community governments was a high priority for her. Her tenacity propelled her to a successful career in territorial politics, where she continued to advocate for her community. Elected to the Legislative Assembly of Nunavut in 2004, she served as Deputy Premier and promoted education on land agreements and diverse representation at all levels of government. Lavinia Brown is a residential school survivor. She uses her voice to educate hearts and minds. And her statement to the Truth and Reconciliation Commission of Canada is included in its final report. She's a member of the National Centre for Truth and Reconciliation's Governing Circle and shares her knowledge and insight on reconciliation. In 2021, Ms. Brown travelled to Ottawa for the first National Day of Truth and Reconciliation. She was one of the survivors who was part of the landmark raising of the survivor's flag on Parliament Hill. She also spent 14 years proudly serving on Canada's National Celebrate Canada Day Committee. Ms. Brown was proud to be the first Inuk grandmother in Winnipeg to be awarded the Keeping the Fires Burning Award in 2011. This was of particular importance to Lavinia Brown, as in Inuit culture it is the women in the igloo who kept the oil lamp burning in cold weather. She also received the Aboriginal Circle of Education Incorporated, honoring our Elders Award in 2017. Ms. Brown is a role model for Nunavut's youth, and she has served as an elder and advisor for post-secondary students at Red River College Polytechnic and the University of Winnipeg. She also has ongoing connections with Ongomazan at the University of Manitoba. Ms. Brown has always answered the call of leadership. She's given of herself to support the people and communities around her. Her advocacy and action for promoting the health, education, and rights of her people has opened doors and expanded horizons for so many. Madam Chancellor, it is an honor for me to ask, on behalf of the Senate of the University of Manitoba, that you confer a Doctor of Laws honoris causa upon Lavinia Brown, a tireless advocate for her people who can inspire us all to serve our community.
by, a, by virtue of the authority vested in me as chancellor of this university, I admit you to the degree of doctor of laws, honoris causa, with all the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. I now invite Dr. Lavinia Brown to come, please address the convocation. I could take this. Thank you, Mr. President. In our culture, we don't say rank like Mr., Mrs., Miss, Doctor, so on. We go by first name. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> he said it was okay, I asked him before. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I would like to acknowledge the elders and the knowledge keepers, fellow graduates, their families and guests, as well as all those at the University of Manitoba who had a part in shaping the brilliant minds here today and who planned this amazing convocation. University, I thank very much all the ingredients that makes this this whole thing happened. I thank the university for the great honor. As a resident or school survivor, I wish to express my appreciation for your commitment to truth and reconciliation. I reflect on my education journey from resident school to many long life lessons and opportunities to eventually be standing in this very podium before you. I shared earlier this week of how a teacher at a resident school told my fellow classmates that I would never become anything in life. That teacher would be part of a system that forbid me to speak my language or celebrate my culture. How was I supposed to be anything if I was never permitted to be someone other than myself? Fortunately, this teacher would be very wrong. Fortunately, I would meet many people who disagreed, including my wonderful and supportive husband, Ron Brown. Ron. It took, <laughs> it took support, love, and kindness of many to help undo the limitation one teacher had placed on how I saw myself. And I worked in many fields. I, my background is in education and in, in um, medical. I had very good role models, all professionals. They're sitting right, right there. Sharon McDonald, could you please stand up? My role model. <laughs> Dr. Ann Durgan, Dr. Alex, please stand up. Thank you. And my adopted daughter, Christine. Stand up. 
And my family is here with me today. My husband, Ron, please stand up. Jason, my son. I, I stand here before the graduate who will be pursuing careers in education, social work, environmental stewardship, as well as those of you with amazing creative and gifts. I would encourage you to be that person who breaks off limitation. Others have place on those around you. I encourage you to love and be kind because we never know the difference that it can make. Of course, you should also use the tools your education and professors have gi given you, your families who have supported you, your friends, people around you that you trust. <clears throat> but know that you have reached uh, this milestone at a very unique time in Canada. Speaking of Canada, I sat on uh, National Celebrate Canada for 14 years. And it's so ironic, I didn't ask for the colors of my beautiful Atari gown. In Inuktitut, it would be a Mauti. But look at the colors, Canadian colors, red, white. And I have outfit from Celebrate Canada Committee in these colors that was presented to me. And we can be part of how future generations look at this moment and are proud of how we bravely embrace reconciliation and committed to ensuring that every child matters. Reconciliation start with us by being truthful. Thank you for listening to me. Have a good day, pleasant day. Nice to see all of you here at the University of Manitoba. Thank you.